Hello guys, welcome back to Raze Gaming Guitar Productions and today I will be showing you guys 4 methods of potentially fixing the majority of game crashes, whether it's a GPU issue or a game issue. Now today I will show you guys how to fix crashes that are not related to in-game bugs, so stay tuned because one of these could help you out in the future even if you currently don't have any problems. Now to start off, we have the most obvious solution and that is game settings. Some players, including me, love to crank up settings to the highest the GPU can handle, but as some of us know, if a game isn't stable, or if the GPU is unstable while trying to run said game, it can cause the game to crash because the game or GPU not being able to handle the absolute terror you're putting it through. So I would say that if you want to have a crashless experience, then you might want to turn down those settings. Medium to low settings won't hurt, just use FSR or something if it doesn't bother you and you should be fine. I personally don't run into many stress related crashes anymore, but back when I was relying on a GT1030 to carry my gaming experience, I definitely had some crashes. Now to get another obvious but somewhat crucial solution out of the way, the next solution is making sure that your GPU drivers are up to date. I know, I know, you hear almost everyone on YouTube saying the same exact thing, but depending on what game you're playing, if your GPU drivers aren't updated, then you may run into crashing issues, especially if it's a new game like Starfield or Payday 3. Now for AMD specifically, since I don't have a Nvidia graphics card, you want to go ahead and go into the Adrenaline app and you want to find driver and software. Now once you do that, you want to click on this icon right here and it should bring you to where you need to be. And as you guys can see right here, I actually have a GPU driver update. I'm not going to do it right now, but I definitely will make sure I do it so that I can prevent any crashes that might happen in the future. So all you want to do is click download and it will download it right here. And then after some time, it then should ask you if you want to do the express download and stuff like that. I'm not fully sure but it is fairly easy and yeah so that's all you have to do now the next good solution is running games as administrator it might seem simple but many people don't actually try this as soon as they run into issues doing this can give the games access to the resources it needs to not crash or not fail while trying to load your game i've also found that some games start up much faster and run a little bit better with running it this way so the game I'll be using for example today is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game that just recently came out. I personally don't have problems with it, but you can use any game that you have problems with. Now what you want to do is you want to try the temporary way first. Just see if running it with admin actually works. So what you want to do is you want to right click. You want to go to run as administrator. So what it will do is it will pop up a screen, a black screen, and it will ask you whether or not you actually want to do so. And all you want to do is click yes or whatever, whatever it says, and it should open up a lot faster. It might run better, but this will allow you to give the game all the resources that it needs. Now, if this actually does end up working or it is good for what you are looking for, what you want to do is for a more permanent way, you want to go to properties and you want to go to compatibility and you want to go all the way down to run this program as administrator. Now you can't do disable full screen optimizations. It does have a few helping factors, but I'm not fully sure because it can also break games, but this video is not about that. Let's just keep going. So run this program as an administrator. This will automatically run the game as a administrator every single time you open it, whether you open it through Steam. So if this is a Steam game, even if you do it from here, if you open the game through Steam, it will instantly find its way right back to this same exe file that you ticked this for, and it will instantly ask you for administrator. So that means you cannot open the game and then walk off. You have to be there so that you can give it administrator permissions. So what you want to do is you then want to just go ahead and click it and click apply and then you want to go ahead and try to open the game and as you will see it will open up the game with administrator permissions every single time. Now last but not least I've saved the most helpful one for last and that is increasing your paging file. A paging file is meant as backup RAM for if you use up all your RAM on a game which can cause it to crash. I found this to work the most, this fixed my crashing issues with several games. Now this will require some hard drive space so if you are that type of person to have 50 gigabytes of space left on your only PC hard drive, then you are out of luck. Now for the people who have more than enough space or at least enough for this, follow my steps. Now all you need to do is you need to go down here to your search bar, you want to search view advanced system settings. Now once you do that it should pop up this and it should say system properties. Now all you want to do is you want to go to settings, you want to go to advanced, 
and down here you should see virtual memory so that's basically what it is it's a virtual memory that is stored in your hard drive so that if your PC runs out of RAM to use it instantly jumps back to your hard drive and it starts using your hard drive to prevent your game from crashing and I'm not sure if it's as fast as normal RAM which I doubt it is but it can definitely help with making sure that your PC does not crash or like especially your whole PC but it, it'll also make sure that your game doesn't crash which can help so what you want to do is as you guys can see I have 20,000 megabytes which translates to 20 gigabytes of paging file size and that is the perfect size all you need to do is go to change and you want to go down here to custom size and you want to change it to 20,000 if you have the space change it to 20,000 but you could also test a little bit I personally find that the safe spot for me is 20,000 and I've seen other people 20,000 is the safe spot I would say stay at, at 20,000 megabytes and the reason why is because that worked for me and one of the games that I actually had a problem with was Far Cry 6 just in the menu in the loading screen those two places were apparently taking up a lot of my ram so it was giving me a lot of problems and i ended up changing my paging file to 20,000 megabytes and now i can play it just fine it was crashing on the loading screen and now it's not crashing at all so this really does help and if it doesn't help you then you can maybe you can try the last three fixes and if it isn't that then maybe your pc just isn't capable to play it maybe your cpu is missing some requirements that the minimum cpu has and i don't know maybe maybe that's what it is 